Hi everyone, and welcome to the Introduction to Causal Inference course. In this video, I'll be walking you through the course website and how to use the corresponding YouTube channel. So the first thing to do is open up a browser and navigate to causalcourse.com. Then you'll see a bunch of different links right off the bat. The first is the course prerequisite. So if you click that link, you'll see that the main prerequisite is basic probability. Then another link you'll see is the tentative course schedule, which is just the first thing that I have on the course website after these two paragraphs. Next, I have a link to the course Slack workspace. So this is where you'll go if you want to have discussions with other people in the course. Just go ahead and click that link if you want to join the workspace. If you're interested in attending office hours, then there's a section for that on the course website. Right now, it looks like I'll hold office hours on Thursdays from 10 to 11 a.m. Eastern Time, but this is subject to change. During the office hours, I'll go through the questions that were most upvoted on the YouTube videos. So go ahead and leave questions in the YouTube video comments and upvote questions that you like so that you can make sure I get to them in the office hours. For each of those questions, I'll do a bit of interactive Q&A with the askers of those questions if they're present in the office hours section. And the plan is to record these office hours. So if you don't want to be recorded, don't worry, just let me know if you were in the recording, and I'll make sure to edit you out before I upload it to YouTube. This way, anyone who can't make the office hours for whatever reason can still go and find them on YouTube and watch them later. All right, so we just covered office hours, and then the next link is the suggested reading group papers. So there's going to be a reading group associated with the course, and this reading group will be much smaller than the size of the course, but if you're interested in that, then go ahead and check out that link. And when you email me about this course, make sure to include this tag, causal course, at the beginning of your email. That just helps me make sure that I see your email. If you haven't already signed up for the course mailing list, then you can go ahead and click that and fill in your email and name. And there's one main textbook that we'll use for this course, which is Introduction to Causal Inference. We might see readings from other books or other papers later on, but for now, there's this main textbook, which if you click, it's called Introduction to Causal Inference from a Machine Learning Perspective. If you click that link, you'll see that it's dated. So the last time I uploaded one was on August 28th, and you can see that August 28th is what you'll get in the file name if you download this file. So you'll always know what the version is of the book that you're currently looking at by the date in the file name or on the title page. And you'll know the most recent version by just going to the course website and seeing what the uh, most recent version is via these two ways. Whenever people point out issues with the book via the feedback form, I'm always sure to update the book. So it will be updated pretty often. And I'll actually be putting out new chapters every so often to keep up with the pace of the course. Here is the feedback form that I was just mentioning. If you click that, you'll be taken to a Google form to give me feedback. And just here's some tips on what kind of feedback uh, you could give me. Re really anything that you want to give me. All right, so let's look what the schedule looks like. So the schedule has the week and the topic of that week, and then I'll upload the videos and link to the videos and then some slides. And then I'll have the readings right next to the slides. And then I'll have the readings right next to that. If you click a video, You'll be taken to the YouTube page Hi everyone. for Welcome that video where you're actually in a YouTube playlist. So as soon as this video finishes, it will continue playing the next video. And this is because I've broken each lecture up into small chunks. The playlist is just going to go through the chunks in the order that they come in the lecture. You can give me feedback about the lecture by telling me that you like it or you dislike it down here. And you can make sure to subscribe. And if you want to get notifications every time a video is uploaded, then go ahead and hit this bell icon and then hit all. As I mentioned before, 
I will be taking questions from the comment section. So just go ahead and give comments down here or go ahead and give your questions down here and I will make sure to respond to them. I check YouTube pretty often. And the course Slack is a good way to have longer discussions with other students. If you don't like getting videos in these bite-sized chunks, so here there, this first one is 2 minutes and 47 seconds, then 11 minutes and 43 seconds, then the third is 7 minutes, and so on. If you don't like bite-sized chunks and you prefer the whole video at once, then I have that too. So just go to my course channel, and then go up here to playlists. So we were actually just looking at the Causal Inference Course Lectures playlist, but you can also hit this Full Lectures playlist. And this playlist will have full lectures in it rather than those more bite-sized chunks. So if you prefer the full lectures, you can look at this playlist. And if you still want to know the specific portions of the talk, there are timestamps down here. So if you just scroll through like that, it'll show you what each portion is. But if you're not planning to watch through the whole video at once, YouTube's not always the best at saving your spot, so then the more bite-sized videos might be better if you're planning to just watch portions of the video at once. All right, so let's go back through the course website and make sure that we get through the rest of the course website. Again, here's the schedule. Go ahead and look through this on your own. As you'll see, I give a specific time for guest talks. So Yashua Bengio will be giving the last talk of the course on causal representation learning. And it's going to be at 1 to 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time. I will, up, I will record and upload this to YouTube as well. And you don't see times for any of the other lectures because they're just going to be uploaded to YouTube on Monday. They're not going to be live at specific times. All right, so scrolling through the rest of the website, you know, here's the course mailing list, course textbook, how to give me feedback, office hours we saw, prerequisites, and then there's this frequently asked questions section. All right, so the first one tells you, go ahead and give me questions in the YouTube comment section. The course is not for credit but it is free. And here's just what I mentioned about timing. It's just going to be that I upload videos on Mondays. They're not live lectures with specific times. And here's the feedback form again. You can give me feedback about anything, not just the book. This last section is about the reading group. So go ahead and read up on that if you're interested in the reading group. It's going to be a very small group. So that concludes the course information. I'm looking forward to having you in the course. Go ahead and send me questions in the YouTube comments, discuss with other students on the course Slack, and I hope you enjoy the course.